So I just want to say the channel has been absolutely blowing up over the past two or three days and I cannot thank everybody enough. But in case you didn't know, we do more than just campers and toy haulers. We do motocross and uh, mechanic work on motocross bikes and such. So if you are interested in that, definitely stick around. Thank you for the subs. Thank you for the likes. Thank you for the views. But if you are here for toy hauler and camper content, I promise you there will be no shortage of that. In this video, I explained how we did all the new interior lights and I explained how we did the uh, light bulbs that are in some of the light fixtures. And then I cleaned up in here. But here are the lights on warm. You'll see all the different modes, I think, in the remainder of the video. But if you guys are, if you guys are new, please consider subscribing definitely helps out a lot and it puts the channel out there for other people to see almost to a thousand subscribers whenever i hit a thousand subs we'll have to do something special i don't know but uh this is the finished product well i say finished it's nowhere close to being done got some upholstery ideas that i threw at y'all later in the video so just please stick around let me know what y'all think and i guess there you go all right so I got some more stuff to ship out. I shipped out a set of forks yesterday. And the day before yesterday, uh, a kickstart shaft and kick kicker for the uh, uh, for a CR50, 70. And uh, I shipped that out in a paper envelope. So I hope that makes it to Hawaii well. That's actually how I shipped it. But I was out of boxes. Chop is a complete mess. We haven't been out here in so long. I mean, like, we've been out here, but we haven't been doing anything out here. I think, what's that outer clutch drum? So that would be this apparatus right here. Unfortunately, that's not going to be able to go into a paper envelope. Today, later today, um, I think the agenda is going to be cleaning up out here. Well, that's all stuff out of the race trailer, so there's not a whole lot I can do with it right now other than leave it there. But as far as the rest of the shop goes, um, definitely, definitely, definitely need to clean up some. John here fixed up. Tell him that he didn't choose UPS. There we go. With that, um, as far as the trailer goes, all the parts that I ordered for it have yet to come in. But last night, I did get something done while I was messing around. Um, pretty proud of this one, if I do say so myself. Look at there. This one, this one needs to be adjusted. Oh, wait. There we go. That chain was stuck. So... That right there is what they're supposed to do. Or that's what you have the option to do. And all I had to do was add the uh, chains on it. These are kind of crap. I'm gonna put these on the metal right here so they're not pulled on the wood. But we're going to redo this door anyway uh, in diamond plate. We're gonna pull all the wood out of it cause it is looking a little rough right there. So we're gonna uh, pull all the wood out and then instead of wood we're gonna keep the uh, foam insulation in here and then diamond plate the whole thing that way it won't rot out again but toy hauler doors are notorious for rotting out and this one has so um don't know how well you can see it but here it is in porch form so that's pretty cool pretty cool pretty cool all the stuff I ordered has not come in yet. Go figure, USPS. I could, I would sue USPS every time I've been screwed. But um, yeah, it's pretty much everything that's going on in there. That SSR that I went and picked up to work on, still not a word on it. So as of right now, the shop is not a storage facility for folk stuff, but well, uh, uh, got a little package in the mail yesterday. But before I start that, look at this. It, it is cold out here. Feels like 46. Now, usually during the winter, this would feel good. But look at the highs and stuff compared to the lows. That's crazy. Anyways, got a little package in the mail yesterday. Saved one so that I could record it. 
So here is the old light. And here is the new one. Well, I say light, uh, the new bulbs. So those are just bulbs. So those look really good. Don't mind the mess. We didn't clean up because we got done really late. Here is, or here are the new lights. And then there's that one. Then there's that one. So they're super bright. These are the ones I got. Um, I used these in my race trailer from this company, not these switch or not these lights. But uh, the ones I used in my race trailer were also ridiculous bright. And I've got three more here. So that's perfect because now I can do the bathroom and then the two front lights up there in the bedroom. But um, the best part about these, and nobody agrees with me on this, but let me close these and um, I'll show y'all. <clears throat> oh, I gotta fix that too. Um, anyways, these are dimmable. So you obviously, you can dim them because they're stupid bright. I think they're 2000 lumens a piece. But anyways, they have warm mode, which is my favorite because of, I think the warm goes good with all the wood in the trailer. Now granted, it does make them look like they're old and out of date, but personally, they have more than these two modes, but personally, the warm, I don't know, man. What do y'all think? Do y'all think warm looks better or do you think that the uh, all white looks better? I gotta put my cover back on the air conditioner. What do y'all think? That's warm. Now they got this other mode. Oh, where's that? Right there. It's not completely white. It's more or less like a, like a mix between warm and white. But you can see the difference in the warm right there and then the warm and white. Uh, personally, I think the warm looks the best. And then, uh, here, I'm gonna turn the brightness down so you can see a little better. Oh, uh, you still can't see real well. And then there's white. So there's warm, little mixture, and then white. Does the white look better or does the warm look better? Personally, I'm gonna go with the warm, but that's just me. So I'm gonna put this one back on warm there we go but uh yeah so i got a lot of mess to clean up these lights do come with the hardware and screws and if you've never replaced rv lights or anything um so some of them they might be crimped together some of them might have wire nuts so just use the wire nuts and electrical tape the nuts on there to the wires just to make sure they don't come off but you take the screws out you pull the lights down it'll be two wires or on, if they're on their own switch but if it's just one light per switch then they're only going to have two wires but if there's more than one light per switch you'll have two wires because like that light gets its power from that light and that light gets its power from the switch so you're going to have they wire up the exact same there's just going to be two more extra wires so um but there's a lot of videos on YouTube. And then as far as the bulbs in the rear, they are the, this is what I have for the rear bulbs. I'll put a link to these in the description too. These work on the outside lights as well. Um, they are just a pack of 20 uh, for $20, I think. So two packs of these right here. And then I also ordered a OEM Cummins filter for the um, generator. Fuel pump will be here Friday. So after all of that's well and done, the trailer will be a little bit better. Uh, this is kind of random, but I want to try and get some different um, cabinet handles. Just I want to see what I can find anyway, because I know on eBay there's a lot. My gosh, it's cold in here. But um, yeah, I haven't done the bathroom light. This is what all the lights used to look like right there. And then that's what they look like now. So a little bit of an upgrade. I feel like 
that's why they put those th these lights right here and add on but so for these two center lights up here i thought about getting some form of light fixture like a hanging light like a chandelier type deal but then i got to thinking about <clears throat> if it actually looked good or not and i didn't want to spend all that money and it not look good but yeah that's everything on warm except for this one. Oh, maybe it was see um so there's all white there's warm and there's the warm and white you can't really tell on camera but yeah, they got these little sliders they're adjustable but yeah i think the warm goes way better with the trailer i'm going to clean this mess up later um i got some other stuff to do but yeah i'm super excited and for the one and you turn these off by holding down on the button and they turn off unless you have a switch but these the uh, slide and the sink lights don't have switches on them the name brand for these are i'll put a link in the description these are neo evos people were giving these bad reviews uh strictly if you read them <clears throat> is because they don't like the fact that they put their logo on it but personally i think that is pretty foolish to complain about that if you made your own product i promise you you'd want your logo on them but um so i wanted to get the lights that went that had the uh, blue color in them and i had some of those in my race trailer too but I start, I never read their views on them, but I noticed when I had them, they make a buzzing noise, but I didn't think much of it. And I completely just stopped using them because I didn't like it. Um, so I was going to order a set for this camp, for this, for the toy hauler here. And everybody was like showing pictures in the reviews where they'd caught on fire or melted. I was like, nah, we can't do that. So I went with those Neo Evo lights and uh they are superb but there wasn't one bad review but i'm going to finish this up later this looks a lot better and but for now i got to run a town ship another package i did two yesterday and then uh i got one today so but the youtube channel has been blowing up i appreciate that and if you are new around here subscribe and like it really it helps boost the videos to other people that haven't seen them yet I did look at that that makes me sick to my stomach I got caught in my pocket last night so I'm gonna super I'm gonna super glue that but yeah these are all the lights on warm probably for filming I'm probably gonna turn them back on white but um I'm gonna get all of this cleaned up all of that cleaned up get my filter cover for the air conditioner put back on and um i guess that'd be it but yeah this is what everything looks like on warm this is my favorite color out of all of them i'm sure others would disagree but there's the white so i'm gonna put them all back on white for the filming Well, that looks a little bit better in here. I turned everything back to warm. I didn't get around to doing the rear light today, tonight, but it's already 11.30 and I still got to go inside and stream. So, um, I'm not sure if I recorded it or not, but in case you were wondering, and if you do want me to film it, I will. That lens right there pops off. I'll show you. I'll get up here. So this lens right here pops off. There's a screw. It's got screws in it, obviously. And then the bulb, uh, you push in and twist. And that's how you get the... But if yours has the old glass bulbs in them, they're going to be super, super, super hot. So either use a rag, and they're brittle, so don't squeeze them and break them and bust them in your hand. But um, use a rag or something. But that's definitely a big difference. I really wish that there were lights on the sides right there my last toy hauler had lights on the sides that sh would shine inwards so i might do that or i might somehow put a light on the bottom of this bunk right here and shining down because as you can see what you see on the camera is what i see because this top bunk when it's raised up it blocks all the light from getting back there so 
but uh that one right there is not too bad but we got everything else lit up super nice and i'm not sure if i mentioned it there mentioned it or not but i'm probably going to go with some different um cabinet handles or cabinet pulls i've never heard them called pulls but apparently people call them cabinet pulls but um yeah i want to go with the western theme in this trailer just because of the wood and everything as my last toy hauler was cowhide everything i kind of want to carry that scheme over to this trailer and it's already sent you know kind of set up for it with the wood and all that but what do you guys think about uh black leather with cowhide cushions around and then somehow get these done in cowhide and keep the black leather here what do you guys think about that and then i didn't get my air filter put back on there because i couldn't i couldn't figure it out so i'm gonna have to study on that <clears throat> that and i was choking on a freaking um hershey kiss when i looked up i was eating and when i swallowed it like burnt my throat but yeah i couldn't be more pleased with the turnout of this this trailer um as far as up here goes still the regular lights um i will probably do something different up here but that's what we left that's what we took off this is what we put on so this is a crazy shot right here so it looks super good super good